quick view of the, the lock gates here at Cullen Bay. It's not overly exciting if you have seen locks before, but I'm hoping that in a year or two from now, well, probably a couple of years from now, that we will be coming through this in our boat. And I can't wait for the day. our local marina. In fact there's several around Darwin but this is one of the nicer ones. Got nice restaurants and that. What's the speed limit along here? 70? 60. 60? I think so. Let's slow down a bit. You might need to hold up the two hands. I don't know whether it shakes or not. Phone camera. I don't even know if it's on. That is the site of the famous Mindel Beach Market. Oh, it is too, yeah, Mindel Beach Market. We haven't been there for ages. We haven't. I wonder what all the flags are up for. Maybe that's the new parking yeah, system. Yeah, I think it's controlled. The new... Oh, it's very technical for Darwin. Yeah, control technical. the parking. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have to go while Mary Ann's up. Yeah, yeah, we will. Maybe next Thursday we'll come up. Was it Thursday evenings and Sunday afternoon evenings? Mm -hmm. yeah, these are really great markets, the Middle Beach markets are uh, very cosmopolitan and very right on the beach. It's very nice. Actually, that's one, one thing would be good to take some film of. It would be. Ho You're right. Post that up. Yep. Is it going when the little red light's flashing at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. And the time should be ticking over. I can't see them, my eyesight's not that good. Darwin Sailing Club. Oh, look at that cat, the back end's broken off of it. You see it the other side? No, that's not, holy shite. That's a friggin' mess, that one. Oh, man, what a shame to let it go though. Well, that looks like it's been in a storm or something, to yeah. be honest with you. It's called, um, the oh no, that's... The camera's at a bit of an angle and it's filming the door frame. <laughs> I was trying to get the cat. Oh, we'll go back don't, past Don't them. edit my... Editing. Editing, please. <laughs> so, maybe one day we might have our boat in here if we get it to a point and we move into town and we want to put it somewhere to finish, but yeah. we'll see. Well, I suppose... We should explain that we live we live like 40 minutes out in the country you know, in a, on a five acre block that we're just renting to, to build the boat but once we get to a point where we can move it and get it ready to put in the water we want to bring it into town to one of these boat yards so we can finish off you know the rigging and the other bits and pieces that might need to be done but that's the plan come into town so we've got less travel Less, less expenses and have everything closer to hand. That looks more like a like graveyard than a boatyard though. <laughs> and this is the foreshore. What would you call this this part here? The foreshore? This is called Vesti's Beach. This is Vesti's Beach. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad little spot. We just come and sit and have a coffee and look at the sea. I'll go down here and turn around. Are you alright with that camera? It's but you're, you're not very sort of watchman, you know, professional. Well, my arms are aching. That's this is um, Fanny Bay. And this is where all the sailboats more on the hook 
in the dry season. Can't leave your boats out there in the wet season because they could get blown away in a cyclone. But as soon as the dry weather comes and the wet weather settles down, the boats all come back. And that'll get fuller than what it is in the next couple of months. And this is our backyard. This is where we live. This is why we love Darwin so much. Well, this is some rope that might be living in the near future too. Hmm. Yes, this would be the cheap cheap option to Cullen Bay in the dry season. We'll just um, probably anchor off here. And then the sailing club is just over there and there's all the amenities for people. You just pay a fee. Usual story. Don't know if you can see the fire, but in the dry season here, we often get these very quite intense winds like you saw this morning when we were down at Cullen Bay. Um, and we, they, we often have fires. They do a lot of burn-offs as well, so it's hard to know whether it's actually a burn-off or whether it's uh, someone's it's dropped fire. the smoke. And that's yeah. what happens. Everything gets very dry because there's no rain. Anyway, that is our backyard. <laughs>